you're trapped in the endless maze of corridors in the long abandoned underground nuclear bunker. Or something along these lines, cause I have no solid plan for this thing yet. It would. Anyway, welcome to another game making video. It was supposed to be a part 2 of this devlog series, because I've made part 1 some time ago, but since then I've decided to scrap everything I've made and start over. So let's just call it part 1 point something. Anyway, everything you can see on the screen right now I've been making for the last couple of weeks without a game engine and I had to learn a new API. So that was an um, interesting experience. And now you might ask, what was the reason that made me unable to continue working on this game? Am I stupid? And yes, I am, but that's not the main reason. Because as I said, I had to learn a new API. And in case you don't know, API is like an interface that lets you control for example hardware in your computer. In this case hardware that I'm controlling is a graphics card. And that lets me display graphics without dealing with like game engines and other bullshit. The API I was using previously was called Vulkan. And I decided to switch to OpenGL for um, reasons. If you know Vulkan you probably can guess why. <laughs> So the concept for this game is that you're trapped in this abandoned Soviet bunker and you have to find the exit, but there are like demons and shit and you have to fight them. I was talking about this a bit more in the previous video and also about how I went to an actual Soviet bunker, totally legally by the way, I totally wasn't arrested for trespassing. So anyway, I started making the game from corridors and I'm not particularly talented if it comes to art. So I decided to leave most of the work to the CPU. So how it works is, first I'm generating a two-dimensional world made of tiles like in Pokemon. And then based on this two-dimensional world, the three-dimensional bunker is created, which makes it really simple to change layout or maybe size. And also I don't have to do anything in Blender for that. And also having a 2D layout of the 3D world, my engine can easily calculate what you can and cannot see, which is very useful because we don't want to draw on a screen things you cannot see because it's just wasting resources. So that's the benefit of making engine for the game and not game on the engine. When it comes to textures I'm trying to use one image for everything. So basically I just made these low resolution textures because I want my game to be low resolution and then tile them together into one normal resolution image. And the source of the images themselves is partially just stealing from the internet, my drawing attempts and actually sampling from the real images I've taken from this bunker I was talking about. So with all of it I managed to recreate what I've made last time. And it took me much less time than I thought. Apparently OpenGL is just so much easier than Vulkan. But anyway I've decided to add some more things to make it look better. So some people were telling me that it looks too clean for a horror game. So I decided to add some like trash on the floor. So I added some like random vertices in some places and combined them with the noise texture. So this is how final result looks like. Does it even look like trash? I mean after working on it for like few hours I can't tell anymore to be honest. Yeah I could also add some like empty vodka bottles cause like Soviet bunker you know. I I'll think about this. After that I decided to add some peeling paint. That was actually the most important thing I've made. And also the most time consuming. Because I wanted paint to actually peel off the wall in 3D and be completely generated on the CPU. The idea behind it wasn't too complicated, I just used another texture to define shape of that paint. The problem was to make it fit with everything else and that took the most time. Now anyway that's the final result. I mean in some places it looks better and in some places it looks worse but I think it's fine for now. If you perhaps have any suggestions how could I improve this peeling paint or whatever else, you might uh, comment in the comments, please. In the end I just added some lights, it wasn't difficult, it was just adding lights. In the first version of it it was just a flashlight, but now I decided to add more. The only downside is that it dropped the FPS like 3 times, it was like 1200 and now it's 400. Also the optimization of my game currently is very questionable. So probably if I do some more work on it, it will go back. So yeah, this is where I am currently and there are things to do. For example, corridor just ends with the void. And don't ask why it's pink, it was kind of just random. I just put the random values, uh, has nothing to do with anything. So yeah, I guess that's all. I have an Instagram, I might post something if anyone follows. Yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you, bye.